How likely do you think a woman without any formal education could become a billionaire? Today, I would like to tell you a story of a Chinese female entrepreneur. Her name is Hua Bi Tao. Do you know who she is? Her product is sold over 80 countries in the world. She is estimated to have more than $1 billion net worth. If you go to any Chinese supermarket, you can see a chili sauce with her face on it. She was born in 1947 in a very, very poor family of farmers. She's the youngest of eight daughters because the parents wanted to have a son. So they did not spend any money on her. She had no formal education. She probably didn't have much love from her parents. She grew up doing a lot of housework and cooking for the big family. She grew up in the poorest area in China. The GDP per capita was less than $1. After she married a geometric surveyor at age 20, her husband died just six years after the marriage. They had two sons. She was a widow. She had no income, no asset, and no family support. She was working for 15 years died hustling. She worked to make tofu and selling tofu. She was on construction site. That was the darkest time in her life. At age 42 in 1989, she started a noodle shop. There were a lot of poor students around and a lot of the time she would just give them free meals without asking them to pay. She was very kind and charitable. Soon enough, the students started calling her godmother her chili sauce was very popular. She initially only made them to serve as toppings to the noodles. In 1994, she was 47 years old at the time. There has been a lot of constructions in China, the highways, the transport. Her noodle shop happened to be near one of the newly built highway. There has been a lot more traffic by the truck drivers and they would stop by to eat at her place. No, truck drivers eat a lot of the time on the road. After they ate the noodles, she would give them free chili sauce so that they could bring on the road to have it with the rice. Very quickly, her reputation spread it out because the truck drivers were driving everywhere in China and they all said her chili sauce was very delicious. In 1996, now she is 49 years old. So many truck drivers loved her chili sauce. The local people drove all the way to have her chili sauce. She has a reputation. She managed to borrow two houses from a local community for free and started setting up her factory. She initially hired a few people and she registered the company at age 50. Everything was difficult. The production process, at first she was doing the most difficult task, the chopping of the peppers, meaning crying and the frying of the chili peppers. Gradually, her staff were trained fully and they could take care of all the production. She was doing the sales. She would take all the samples, knock on door to door to try to sell them to the restaurants and to the shops. Remember, she had no education. She didn't know how to read or how to write. She relied on her sons to help her when she registered her company. Of course, no money for marketing. Even today, you can see the only marketing she ever did was a photo of herself at age 50. The brand name, Lao Gamma, it means old godmother. Because she registered her company when she was age 50, she thought she was really old. And godmother was a nickname gave to her by the poor student she helped. It continued until today and is one of the most popular household brand name for chili sauce. In the second year of the factory operation, she already needed to hire 200 more staff to help out. Her sauce was selling well, but things were still very difficult. She had to beg for suppliers to work with her. The glass bottles, she had a lot of requirement because she wanted quality. She wanted the best product for people who use them. Of course, with her repetition, there came trouble. At that time, the market wasn't very regulated a lot of factories were faking her brand. She has been fighting with all these fake brands and she went to lawsuit cases 
all these troubles. She was very persistent for six years. She finally won and crushed all the fake brands. In 1997, just two years after she set up the factory, she already needed 200 more staff. In 2012, she was 65 years old and she has been running her company for 15 years by now. In 15 years, her business has grown by 70 times. In 2012, her company had an annual revenue of $500 million. It would be unthinkable for her when she was young, living on less than a dollar a year. Now, she's 76 years old. She's known as the hottest godmother, the billion dollar chili queen. Her face is on all the products that you can see overseas. Company now own more than 20 different variety of products, dominating more than one fifth of the chili sauce market in China. Her product is sold more than 80 countries around the world. If you go to any Chinese supermarket overseas, I'm sure you'll find one of her products. Now, three things you want to take away from the story. Number one, her resilience through the dark times for majority of the first half of her life. She did not give up and she's been trying and trying and found out her niche of making chili sauces. Number two, she was a mother and she was an honest businesswoman. She did not take any shortcuts. She wouldn't touch things that she doesn't know. She wanted to do everything she could in things she knew the best and she wanted to give the customers the best. This has earned her a big reputation and a very good branding for her products. Number three, timing. She registered her company in 1997. Panda has been opening up the economy to the world since 1990s. It was one of the fastest growth the world has ever seen, the period from 1997 to 2007. So she was at the right time and her business was rising when people were starting to consume. In summary, her story was full of dark times and high times. She has resilience. She was honest and kind and charitable. People trust her and her brand. She was at the right time. And of course, she's expert in the chili sauce in Guizhou since she has been making them her whole lifetime. That is a story of Hua Bi Tao, the woman you see on the chili sauce. And this is a story of her starting from nothing to a billion dollar chili queen, the hottest godmother.